Hey everybody, really excited today. We're uh, going to actually begin the picking process with our awesome Wyme Visa the Cross. And uh, we're out here in the whelping pen area. And uh, this is where they, they play and transition from that six to eight week old mark. And since our Wyme Visa the Cross is the oldest litter currently, uh, they're getting to come out here and just get that extra exercise and play room. Um, what we're going to do here is just film them interacting and I'm going to go through each pup and this is going to be a good long healthy dose of footage um, which we're, which again uh, as I just mentioned we're, we'll film each pup individually and, and kind of just be all over the place a little bit uh, just kind of who's who and who's doing what and I'll talk about everyone's personalities as well. Uh, I'll try to actually begin we'll, we'll do like girls first and then we'll cover boys. Um, and then and then we'll just kind of film a little bit in between. So I'll try to get some of them on out here. Come on, guys. What are y'all doing? What are you guys doing? What are y'all doing? Hey, little buddy. <laughs> All right. All right, let's do one of the girls here. We got pink. Look at you being so cute and sweet. Pink has a little bit more energy than some of the other pups, and uh, she's one of the smaller ones, so if you're going for a smaller one, she'd be a really good fit. Yellow is actually uh, the largest female that we have, and she would definitely be what I would say is the pick of the litter among all the females, and she's a, a very sweet, friendly pup. She's, she's a little bit more on the softer side with her, with her personality. She's going to be a, a big old sweet loving baby. And she is. And purple here is uh, in between in size. She's not one of the largest. She's not one of the smallest either. She's right in the middle uh, amongst all the girls. And her, her personality uh, from what I've noticed so far is a little bit more in between. Not too laid back. Not too outgoing. But her, her personality is a, a little bit more balanced. Hey little buddy. We'll get to you in just a second. Right, orange. Orange is my favorite. Uh, kind of film her real quick. Orange is my favorite. She's the most playful. I, I think she's going to be a very smart pup. She's definitely always kind of doing her own thing and uh, just kind of leading the pack, um, so to speak, with all the other puppies. So she's definitely got that lead dog personality, little little standout personality there. And uh, she and Purple are both about the same size. Uh, they're, they're about right in the, in the middle of, of the pack, so to speak, in size. And the reason why I'm, I'm sharing with you sizes, uh, too, you know, the, these are good, <coughs> uh, good inclinations of um, what they'll be when they get bigger, too. So, you know, if you're going, again, you know, for like a smaller female, you would want to uh, try to lock up the pink one. If you're going for a larger female, you'd want to lock up uh, the, the yellow one. And uh, since she's the, the biggest, healthiest in, the, in that in that category amongst the girls, you would uh, she would be considered a, the pick of the litter female. So uh, now we'll do the boys. Uh, Red is uh, the pick of the litter for the males, and uh, he he's the largest of the males. Um, he's it looks like he's crazy playing out alpha personality right now, but he's actually more on the sweeter side uh, out of all the pups, and uh, he, he's just got. What I, I would consider probably the best disposition out of, out of all the pups. Uh, he, he's just, uh, his personality is just so healthy. And um, just very, a very confident, very confident puppy. Blue right here is uh, one of our more laid back little guys. And um, he's actually, all, all the boys, there's, there's really only two smaller males. Uh, the boys are very, very healthy in this litter, and th this whole litter is just actually really, really healthy. And uh, blue, the one we see, the blue collar there, his personality is a little bit more laid back uh, among the boys. So if you're going for that more sweet natured, and uh, what I'll do here in a, in a second, I'll just kind of clarify the the sizes and what I'm predicting, <laughs> what what we'll see as they get bigger. Green here is also one of the larger males. And uh, he and Red are just, I mean, very, very in that competitive spot as, as to what I would 
call pick the litter. What I like about Green is his head is is probably the best in the whole in the whole litter. You can see just that really big round block head look. His disposition is also a very calm calm puppy. <coughs> and uh, he and uh, he and Red are, are definitely the two two bigger bigger males out of, out of everyone there. Well, hey little girl. And you can see just how calm he is. He's and he is always like that. What you did you go swimming in the water? Did you go swimming in your water? I know you're y'all y'all just being a little you're being hogging you're hogging me. Hold on. All right, blue boy here with the light blue collar. Uh, he's our smaller one, so you know again, you know just talking about those size things, they do play in the key even this early at age. So uh, the one you see right there with the blue collar, probably the sweetest. I mean the most sweetest pup, literally probably in the entire litter. Uh, he is he is by far just a consistent, consistent, very soft-hearted pup. I know. Hold on, y'all are bumping me on the camera. Hold on. I know, hold on. Hey guys! In a minute, we'll get finally uh, done around going through all the pups, and then we'll, <coughs> like I said, we'll just kind of film them all interacting and playing here. Alright, and Black Collar is in here just taking a nap. And uh, Black is the one I would say is the most in between. Out of all the pups, his personality uh, is, is extremely balanced in the boys, in the boy category, and I absolutely just love his coat. He's one of the darker uh, chocolate rust colored males, and um, I, I'm going to try to show that to you, but it, it's extremely difficult to really see on the camera. So, uh, one of the things, if you're, you know, obviously considering <coughs> colors here, uh, you'll just have to really kind of inquire with me about it because I, I know just watching back on some of the previous films it's it's very difficult to see that color differentiation uh, <laughs> but but black collar male is definitely one of the darker ones just kind of just tell you on the video uh, purple collar female is one of the darker among the girls uh, the pink collar female is uh, I would definitely consider as darker as well and uh, probably among among the boys, other than black, it's um, it, it look it looks more like b the darker blue collar male. And I'm just gonna kind of get out of here real quick so I can really just kind of film them from a little little bit more of a distance and instead of them attacking me, and then I, I can't really follow the camera that way. <coughs> All right, guys, what y'all doing? What are you guys doing? I know, hey little baby. And we'll just film everybody kind of playing. Are you gonna come down here and play? Are you gonna come down here and play? <laughs> he is so sweet. Now, the little bumps you see on the head, they get that from when they scratch each other. It's very easy to get rid of uh, if you do get a pup, <laughs> you know, and they have that. You just want to put some Neosporin on there. It's from when they when they scratch each other, you know, I'm cleaning this this thing out here two or three times a day, and uh, naturally they're going to get a little bit of the, you know, water in there, in their claws, and then they scratch each other. It gives them gives them that little bump on the head. There's Mama Ellie. <laughs> you coming in here to see your babies, Ellie? <laughs> Ellie, come on, come on, baby, come on. She hasn't been in here all day, so I know she's. Reluctant to actually get in here and see him. <laughs> oh, what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Hi, little girl. I know it. It's really cool that we caught them in the play times. Is everybody's definitely lively and in a way, other than blue a uh, light blue collar male, everybody's just ready to play and get that energy out. So. Good, we get to see them all in action, and I'll, I'll basically just keep filming all the pups and going back and forth from <laughs> one pup to another. You cleaning your babies? 
What you doing, Eddie? Really like orange girl. You guys playing? Ellie, come on. Come on. Come on, Ellie. Come on. Come on, Ellie. Good girl. Now all the pups have had their first rounds of shots, um, and then at pickup, what we always do, whether pickup or shipping, we'll we'll actually get uh, have their second rounds done, and um, we we actually deworm every week. So uh, leading up to what I'm about to say, now that they're coming up on that six week old mark, this is why we do the we go ahead and begin the picking process, and um, you know just touch base with us and talk it over with us, and I can help you. In more detail, really narrow down, narrow down things. Uh, it is kind of difficult. I, I know just when there's a lot of options, but it's better to have those options than not. And uh, <laughs> what we'll do is just kind of narrow that that pick down for you. And they're they're pretty much ready to go. Um, so you'll be able to schedule your pickup and shipping date with us. You know, at your convenience. There's yellow, the, the pick of the litter female. Man, you guys are playing. Come here, little babies. Come here, little babies. Uh, some of the things you also need to know uh, about the wine visual cross that it, it's really amazing uh, I mean absolutely just an amazing cross because they get such a such a more calm uh, family just extremely you know laid-back uh, manageable energy is uh, type personalities like what I like to call it because it's they get that really more from the visual and the wine range is a little bit more high strong in their energy and then unless you do the uh, you know the obedience training and, and things you're gonna have a little bit more more energy than you usually bargain for and the, the wine visual cross there it helps helps uh, tone that energy level down and uh, <coughs> they also get that hypoallergenic gene uh, from the visual but what I do like about what they do get from the wine rainer is they get that bigger block head that bigger muscular chest that fuller chest look and uh, you know just fuller more muscular sound body and uh, just just a beautiful beautiful cross the size when they are full grown, you can expect girls uh, anywhere from the 40s to, to 50s range and the boys in the 50s to 60s range. So uh, again, little, 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 just a, a bit larger than the Vigla, but also uh, smaller than, than the Wyme. So you can kind of get a more medium, uh, a truer medium sized dog, <laughs> whereas the Vigla is a more a small to medium sized dog and and uh the wimes at least the wimes that we breed are are medium to large large size so well Look at how pretty you guys are. I'm not sure how the playback is on the video, but ho hoping you can see some of their, you know, they're all in play mode right now, but you know, get, getting a good look at, at all the pups. Um, you know, you can tell Orange is kind of just the total personality. She's, she's just very, very confident. Uh, 
Yellow's a big, sweet, loving puppy. She's the biggest of the females. A red and a green are, are the two larger females, whereas, you know, you can tell just as when I was speaking from the beginning here on out, you know, green's a little bit more calm and uh, laid back and just absolutely gorgeous. Has just a perfect blockhead on him. And then uh, red's a little bit more independent like we were talking about. Uh, very confident and kind of been doing his thing, kind of controlling a lot of the play. Now it's taking two of them to bring him down. <laughs> Now we have had pink and blue has gone in here to take their nap. We'll kind of peek in here for a second. What are y'all doing? What are you doing? Where's your sister at? Where's your sister? Oh, he is so sweet. I love that puppy. He's extremely, extremely calm. Just extremely sweet. I know you want to come out here and play. How come you want to go to sleep all the time, huh? You slept all morning. Come on. Come on. Oh, there's Pink. She's over there eating. <laughs> oh, hey, little big red. Hey, little red. What are you doing? What you doing? <coughs> you are so pretty, Blue. Just again as a reminder, he's more on the darker side, him and black collar among the boys. Uh uh, don't play that mean. Red, you got your little stick. Red's got a stick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 